Hi guys, uh, Mr. Rice here, and today we're going to make a temperature converting app using Make Code Arcade, uh, and this uses variables and some math blocks to actually do the temperature conversion. So let's go ahead and make that together. All right, so we're going to create a new project. I'll just talk, call it temperature conversion. So this uses variables to code a temperature converter from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius to Fahrenheit, depending on what equation you use. So the first thing we're going to do is create two variables. We're going to create temperature Celsius and we're going to create temperature Fahrenheit. So to create a variable in make code, you click on variables, make a variable. So we'll call the first one temp C for Celsius and click OK. Now notice, when you make a variable, now you finally get some blocks down here. So let's do set temp C to pick any number. I'm going to pick two point. It doesn't matter what you put in there. OK, let's make another variable called a temp F for Fahrenheit. OK. And we'll set temp F to, again, it doesn't matter what you put there. I'll just leave it zero. Finally, let's make one more variable. And I'm just going to call this temp. And this is the variable we will use for our equation. So set temp to, now it's going to be zero. So here's the tricky part. Now we actually want to make an equation, right? Um, the formula for converting Fahrenheit into Celsius, uh, oh no, other way, from Celsius into Fahrenheit is the temperature times nine divided by five plus 32. So I need to add all of those math blocks in there. So the math blocks are in the math toolbox. So I need temperature times temperature and then a divided and I need a plus. So notice I have three blocks kind of stacked inside of each other, right? Um, so the first block uh, I need is one of my variable blocks. I'm trying to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. So let's take my variables and find the one that just says temp C and put it inside the first section there. So now it's temp C times nine divided by five plus 32. And that's my equation. Um, now I just need to display it on the screen. So to display it on the screen, because it's not doing anything right now. It's, it's doing the calculation, but it needs to show it on the screen. So to show it on the screen, we're going to splash it. Click on game, splash. Okay, unfortunately, you can't just simply splash temp. You get an error. Um, and I won't go into detail why you get an error. The error you get is argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type string. It won't let you just play a number. You have to convert it into what's called a string. So to do that, click on advanced, click on text, click on join, and it says hello world right now and we'll change hello world. I'm just gonna change the first to hello, instead of hello to hello temperature Fahrenheit equals. And then instead of world, now I can put temp. Just like that. Okay, so let's see if it does the calculation correctly. Uh, my temp C was 22.3. I converted temp into Fahrenheit. Uh, so it says my temperature Fahrenheit is 5.424, and I know that's not right. Temperature C equals 22.3 should be temperature F equals like, that's like 70 degrees, something like that. So something is wrong with my equation. So I think it's very helpful when you're doing math blocks to switch into JavaScript mode. And let's see what the equation looks like when we type it out. And you might prefer to code in JavaScript mode with the text just like this. Uh, sometimes I do for sure, because I can already tell you the parentheses are wrong. So I'm just going to get rid of my parentheses here. 
And now it should do my calculation correctly. There we go, 72.14. Uh, and that fixes it in blocks as well. So I can switch back into blocks. And there we go. Now it has flipped the order of my math blocks. It's a little complicated to do it in blocks mode. So sometimes, like I said, very helpful to switch into JavaScript mode. Okay, so that's a simple simple temperature, uh, in this case, converting Celsius into Fahrenheit. Your challenge could be to convert it from Fahrenheit into Celsius. The formula is a little different. You might have to research it. Um, I'll put the link to this code in the details. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.